Okay, so in this exciting time challenge, what I want to um, demonstrate here is two 14 inch squeegees. And what I want to do is do a, the typical time saving technique that is shown over YouTube versus now, should I go for just a typical fanning movement, just average coming down the glass, or should I go for a time saving technique? I think what I'm going to do on this version of the time uh, challenge is just a simple fanning movement coming down. They're both 14 inches. Um, and uh, we're going to we always do the accelerator, uh, the, either the accelerator or liquidator, on the second time, on the second example, because it's a day and light difference in terms of you do this or you do this. You make your decision, but this is always the deciding factor. It always demonstrates as long as you can use it right. Just follow a few simple guidelines. This always wins every single time. But we'll put that down here for now. And <clears throat> we're going for the um, the general up, down, up, down version of time saving techniques. Unfortunately, because I'm using a standard channel, which most well-known YouTube window cleaners do, we're gonna have to incorporate the detailing because they actually do advise to do all the detailing. So we got to put that into the account of the time, the labor. Right, so we're not gonna time the actual soaping up. Let's just rub this soap solution in. We only time the actual technique. Uh, and not only the technique, we want the zero detailing effect. Let's just rub all that soap in nice and consistent like this. This is what you don't get with other window cleaners on YouTube. That's why they're not very good window cleaning performers. And they tell you what, they, what you should be doing, what you shouldn't be doing. And uh, I'm saying, well, if you do whatever they, they do, when they just work like average window cleaners, you're gonna be working as long and as slow and getting as less results as they do. Um, possibly, maybe a little bit better. Possibly, maybe a little bit worse. But you're guaranteed to be working longer, harder, slower, getting less results. So, I've started the stopwatch, so let's come down twice in this. Right, so let's just put that down here. Now let's just start detailing, and there's lots of detailing to do. We want good results, right? That bother with a button bit. That is 18 seconds. Right, so, um, and uh, we'll leave it like that. Point saving techniques, guys. This is what the, uh, the majority of window cleaners who go out their way to show how they work. Now, I go out my way to show how I work and it's not that I'm saying I'm better than them um, it's not me it's the tools it's the soap method it's the techniques it's everything in combination this will only get you so far this will only get you so far you yourself as a person is the third factor in becoming the highest performing highest skilled window cleaner in existence and if I can do it Anybody can do it, because it's the most simplest thing I've ever set out to do in my entire life, including making the highest performing squeegee in the world um, that's never gonna be beaten in terms of effectiveness. Right, enough about that. Let's soap up and let's get on with the... I'm not gonna bother catching the soap solution. I'm just gonna go for the uh, fanning method. Let's start. And let's go. So I'm not going to use two hands, I'm just going to come down. And we are going to bother with cleaning the frame at the bottom, but I could do that and I could get this better results done. Okay. Uh, and get it done in, in less time than it took on that first time saving technique, which is propagated by most well-known YouTube window cleaners. So I got this done in 11 seconds. Now, I remember saying many years ago that I often at least work double the speed of most window cleaners on YouTube. And I was slated for it. So near enough, I got this window cleaned using one hand, using a slower time wasting method with the better solution, with the better skill and the better squeegee. 
and I nearly did it in half the time and I worked one handed. So when I got slated saying, I'm faster than this guy, I'm faster than that guy, I'm faster than all these guys without working faster, without working as cumbersome and as unskilled, using better performing tools and skills and knowledge, I was ridiculed. When I say that I'm three, four or more times quicker than the average Joe window cleaner in um, the areas that I work, I was ridiculed. Now, the problem is when you um, make statements, <clears throat> you get slammed for it. But I think over the last six to eight years of being showing what I do compared to every single other window cleaner on YouTube, I think I'd go out my way to show if you work like everybody else, you can get typically the same results as everybody else. If you take on board just a smidgen of the information and the uh, tool advice and the general technique advice, you're gonna get much better results in much less time. Does that make me a, a special clever person? No, it just means that I'm a high performing, more up-to-date knowledge, uh, better uh, skilled all-round window cleaner in terms of working with tr traditional tools. Now, yeah, does that annoy a lot of window cleaners? Am I gonna get a few dislikes? Of course, but the thing is, no one's gonna show any better way, any quicker way. They're not gonna show any better tool. It's this way or the other way. And you can work any other way and it's always gonna result in you working longer, harder, slower, getting less results.